Welcome to the 21 Daniel Fast Tips and Truths. And this one, number five, is how to recover from a mistake during your fast. It just happens sometimes. And so we're going to talk about that. So my name is Susan Gregory. I'm the best-selling author of the Daniel Fast, actually multiple books about the Daniel Fast. And if you want to learn more about the fast, go to daniel-fast.com. So a few mistakes that can happen on your Daniel Fast. So let's take a look at them. First, you know, maybe you just didn't know something. So you ate something and then you realize, oh gosh, I realize now that's not on the fast. It's an easy, common, you know, okay mistake. So you look at that. Now, another thing that can happen is your mind was on other things and you accidentally ate something not within the guidelines of the fast. So it's just, you know, all of a sudden you took a bite of something or a sip of something and it's just like, oh gosh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay, so another common mistake. Something else that might happen is after you consumed something, you learned of an ingredient in the food that isn't allowed on the fast. It's just like, oops, oops, I didn't realize that this food, that this product had this food item. It may have been some sugar, it may have been some animal, like some cheese or something, some whey, things that are in there that aren't allowed on the fast. And then you consciously decided to go outside the guidelines and you ate something not allowed on the fast. So what do you do then? What do you do? Well, first of all, see the value of the guidelines. And what do I mean by that? The reason that there are guidelines that we stay within during the fast is that it helps us to actually work out some of our obedience, some of our commitment. It calls us to stay within the guidelines. And isn't that part of what we do in our faith? A huge part of what we do within our faith. We are called to stay within the guidelines of the ways of God, to obey him, to follow his commandments. So when you are on the Daniel fast, you know when you're bumping up against something It provides those guidelines. It provides those boundaries. So you know, you know perfectly, are you making a mistake? Are you consciously deciding to not stay within the guidelines? And that really helps you learn more about yourself. The second thing you want to do is figure out why. Why did you make that mistake? So the reason that I'm bringing this up is that you can learn so much. So let's say you didn't know that the food wasn't on the Daniel fast. Was that because you didn't do enough research? Was it because you kind of jumped in or, or maybe you weren't prepared well enough? If you consciously decided to go with that, go outside the Daniel fast guidelines, why did you do that? Why did you do that? So, and then you want to think about, okay, well, what will you do next time? This is something, this is a life lesson right here. You made a mistake. What will you do next time so that you don't do it again? So what was the thing, If what was the trigger if you made the conscious choice to go outside the guideline? What will you do next time so that you won't give in to that trigger? And again, This is a lesson about our faith, about our life, about the choices we make. So then figure it out, figure it out, and then get right back on track. Don't quit. You don't need to quit. You don't need to start over, but learn, learn from what happened. The mistakes you make on the Daniel Fast can mimic mistakes and choices you make in other areas of your life. So do you see, are there some things that you aren't always prepared about, that you just jump in? Are there times when you say, you know, you know you should not do something, but you do it anyway. These are all things that we can learn about ourselves. So use this opportunity to learn and grow. Don't let the mistake weigh you down. Pick yourself up. Don't quit. Keep going, but learn from the experience. So be blessed on your fast. And again, if you want to learn more about the fast, go to daniel-fast.com.